Action. Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. I am so thrilled and ecstatic to be down here and pouring again and just the sun is shining and it's a beautiful day and I'm so happy. So I haven't actually been down here since I broke my leg because <laughs> there's like 30 some odd steps that are railroad ties. And so we've been very cautious. I've been sitting, I've been elevating my leg. I've been very good about it. So I'm so happy to be down here. HOA has done this thing with a ladder and some sandbags. So I'm actually kneeling on that with my bad leg and I'm standing on my other foot. So I am good, I'm supported, I'm comfortable. I'm wearing my boot. Let's paint something because I'm very happy. So this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have put my push pins in and taped the back. Actually, HOA did it for me because he's awesome like that. <laughs> Move that out of the way. Okay, colors. This one is Golden's Prussian Blue. I really wanted a lot of color today. Just something bright and cheerful and happy and easy and Lately, when I get stressed, I think about color. <laughs> I just sort of get lost in there. And Okay, this next one is Amsterdam Red Violet. And it's actually looking a little bit magenta <laughs> while it's wet and sort of with the Floetrol in it. But it dries to a really beautiful color. I've seen Fiona from Fiona Art using this one, and it's just gorgeous, the Amsterdam. So we also have here Golden Cerulean Blue. Which cerulean is one of those words that I just love. It's such a pretty cerulean blue. I love that. Okay. Oh, everything is mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and Floetrol. It's not very, very super thick and leaving a mound on a mound. It's, you know, a small mound and then disappears. This one is Arteza Bordeaux Red, leaving a little mound on a mound and then disappearing. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Sarah Mack was using that in there. her little bloom the other day. You should check out her bloom. It was awesome. Okay, this one is my favorite DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And we also have here, this one is Amsterdam White with some Satin Enamels Pure White. So this is my experimental. <laughs> I was doing that great big schmear with the Amsterdam Lamp Black, which was awesome. So I kind of want to see what happens with the white. I realize most people just mix the white with the Floetrol, but I do have pouring medium in here. And I figured since I'm already changing it up, why not add my satin enamels as well? So this is satin enamels and the Amsterdam together. And I have two cups of that. So I can use one as a base coat backgroundy sort of color and I can use the other in my pour. This is a 16 ounce cup, or if we fill it up to where it's supposed to, where's the markings here? <laughs> That's like 16 ounces. That's a 24 by 30 inch canvas, so we need 30 ounces of paint for that. So I'm going to really try hard to just get to like 15 ounces and do twice. So, okay, let's start. Um, I'm going to do a wandering straight pour across the canvas. I was walking to my daughter's room the other day and Fire Island is up on the wall. And it just has these beautiful Prussian blue and turquoise with these gold cells and just gorgeous colors. And that one actually uses nickel azo gold too, I think. Anyway, it was very, very pretty, and I was thinking about that one, and I was like, I haven't done a wandering straight pour and just tilted it out. So today I wanted to do something easy, something fun with a lot of color, and I think this is going to be great. A comfort pour. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with some of our white, just a little bit, and I am going to pour it down the side. I'm not going to do a ring. Well, maybe not. We'll just pour it down the front. Okay. Okay, looks like there's some water in there. Hmm. Hang on. I think there's a drop of water in the bottom of the cup, and I don't want it to stay water. Okay. All right, so we got a little bit of white in there. Let's put a little bit of gold in there. Let's come in with the red violet now. Okay, so you guys know how much I love magenta. <laughs> and um, the other day I did one that I think you guys are going to see before this that had... Um, that red violet and the cadmium red deep from Liquitex Basics and it was beautiful the two of them together when they mixed were amazing okay I'm going to put some more gold on this side of this and then a very small layer of white oh maybe not very small 
And we're going to come in with our Prussian blue. And some of the cerulean blue. And some gold. Some white. Some gold again. So I'm sandwiching that white between layers of gold so that it forms sort of a barrier because I don't really want this to go very pink and I don't want the blue to go really, really light blue. So we'll see. All right. Okay, so that's a little bit more than 15 ounces, but we're going to put a little bit of white on top and then we're going to stop. That's okay because I think I had a lot of white in the bottom. All right. So move this back over here. Do I want to put down a base coat? I don't think I do. I think I just want to pour some gold across. So I'm going to pour this this way. Kind of like a runway for me to pour into. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? We're going to start over here. Aye, Lassie. Hey. Awesome. I love that. I love what's happening. So we're going to do that same thing again. Some white. Some gold. I don't think we need another 16 ounces, but we could use a good 10 or so. So let's go opposite. Let's start with the blue this time. And then the cerulean. And then some gold. white mm -hmm. right, do the red violet first Bordeaux some more Prussian blue on the other end. Okay. Let's see, should I turn it around? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start over here, and I think I might go along the side because there's probably more paint in there than I need. You ready? All right, Lexi. bit of white left in here and a little bit of gold left in here so I'm actually going to pour the gold in the white and mix that up and hop back up on my pillow here this is an awesome idea thank you for the pillow <laughs> much more comfortable and then we're going to put a lot of water in there because I want more paint. So it'll do is like a flow extender. Okay. 
So I'm going to pour this along the edges. We tilt it. Okay, so let's just sort of see where the weight of the paint is. That's good. I'm gonna go off that way first, actually. Yeah. Okay. I'm just walking it down. It's sliding nice and easy. back to the center and then we're going to walk it down the other way. Paintings making me think of France for some reason. France? You're weird. We could still take more paint off of here, so I want to really look at it and decide which parts I like the most and which parts I wouldn't mind getting rid of. I love that blue corner with the cells popping up, but I feel like if I took that off, maybe this other part in the center would stretch out and open up. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so we're going to take some of that blue off, so I want to walk it down this canvas towards that corner and get the weight of the paint lined up so that it just slides off easily. So we really open up some of those lines and get to see the cool detail in between. I don't mind leaving a little bit of it on there. That's awesome. 
That was a lovely little five minute <laughs> Zen interlude. I like that a lot. That was fun. The thing I'm not crazy about is that very bottom edge. Just let's take a bit of that off. Okay. Take it back just a tiny bit and then we're gonna be finished. I'm gonna torch it. That's very cool. I like that. Makes me happy. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I love straight pours. It's really cool to me how you can, they open up and then you just see, because there's blending in there, you see where the colors blend and this beautiful gradient from the darker Bordeaux to the red violet and then all the way here where it gets kind of pink. Very pretty. This is gorgeous with the cerulean blue and the Prussian blue and a little bit of Bordeaux red in there obviously because it went darker. It's cool, I love this part. The cells look a little bit wonky right now, so we're gonna torch them and see if anything else wants to come up too. Each way fixed my torch for me. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and Gail just started blowing. Hello, Gail. I don't wanna leave you out. <laughs> it's so good to be back pouring with you guys. I've missed you all so much and just it's lovely to be able to come down here and have my own little space and you know it's really nice to come home so <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me. I will show you guys when this one when it is dry. I hope you guys have a beautiful beautiful day. Breathe, be happy, the sun is shining. It's all good. See you soon. Okay so this is a few days later and it is dry now. And I am quite happy with how this turned out. A lot of beautiful color, beautiful composition in there. Some very, very cool effects. I really like this bottom corner over here where it kind of looks almost like marbling just with the abundance of white and then the colors sort of floating through there. I love that Prussian blue and the cerulean blue are beautiful together. red the bordeaux red is always amazing and then over here we see a little bit of that red violet very cool stuff sorry about the construction noises they are building stuff but this one out really cool i like i love it it's very happy very celebratory i was so happy to be back down in the studio and able to paint again and able to be at my table it's just ecstatic honestly felt like coming home to be able to get back down there again amazing how this little tiny tough shed <laughs> this is my space but very cool stuff in here i really like the cerulean blue with the prussian blue like up here in this corner you can see both of them together where the white blended more with the cerulean very cool stuff some beautiful cells in there big boulder cells i really like the little bit of gold that's peeking through so I had used the Amsterdam white thinking maybe we might do some schmears on this one, but I didn't end up doing that. I love this part over here. It's so cool. Just this, I guess I can't zoom in more than that, but very neat how the Prussian blue is like kind of bleeding into the white just a little bit there with those cool flame looking things. Always flames for HOA. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. A little gold bit over here kind of the marbling on there. So that's kind of awesome. I was very happy, very, very happy to be able to get down to the studio again and to paint and to, you know, and so this was awesome. Very, very cool stuff. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate you and all your lovely comments. You guys are so nice and so kind and I just, I'm overwhelmed by your 
your love, literally. <laughs> so, thank you so much. We will be getting back to shooting a little bit more frequently now, I hope, now that we've established that I can actually get down there safely. And uh, we'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.